Hey guys, Anthony here with a video review and walkthrough of Video Robot, which is a cloud-based video creation software with which you can create different types of videos. In this video, I'm just going to give you an overview, but I will be creating several tutorials to cover specific aspects of Video Robot in more detail. So I'm logged into my Video Robot account. On the home page, you will see the latest news and updates and Video Robot launches on March 8, 2018. Up top, you will see these several sections or tabs. Under My Videos, you will find all the videos that you rendered. And if you hover your mouse over a specific video, you will see these buttons to preview the video, download the MP4, edit the video project, and delete the project. In the Media Library, You'll find all the assets you've uploaded like images, videos, and audio. In the My Purchases section, you can check what level of access you have. And if you need any help, you will find tutorials and support links right here. Click this Create Video button to start creating a video. And you will see this Video Creation Wizard. In Step 1, you choose the type of video. As mentioned earlier, you can create different types of videos like 3D avatar videos, kinetic text animation videos, whiteboard animation videos, or use the blank canvas to create videos from scratch. In this demo, I'll use the 3D avatar template, so I'll click on it, and then click Next Step. In Step 2, you choose a template. You will find a variety of templates in different niches. Also, you will notice these male and female buttons or tabs. Currently, we are in the male section, but if I click on the female button, you will see all the templates with female avatars and voiceovers. You can also use the search box and tags filter to search and filter specific templates. I'll go back to the male section and choose this business services template. I can preview this template by hovering my mouse over it and clicking the preview button and decide if I want to use this template or not. For the purpose of this demo, I'll go with this template. So I'll select it, and then click the next step. In step 3, you choose a 3D avatar. Toby is a default 3D avatar for this template. You can click this preview button to preview the 3D avatar, and replace it if you wish. I'll stick with the default 3D avatar, Toby. And then I'll click next step. In step 4, you choose a voiceover and background music. As you can see, there are a few choices. The default is a ready-made human voiceover. You can also choose text-to-speech or TTS and choose a specific voice. I'll be covering TTS in more detail in a separate tutorial. You can even record your own voiceover or upload an MP3 file with a voiceover. I'm going to stick with the default human voiceover. In this section, you can use background music. I'm going to skip it, and then click Next Step. In Step 5, you can upload a logo or background image, as well as change the contact information, but we can also do this in Step 6 as well. So I'm going to click Next Step, and here we are in the final Step 6. Let me just scroll down. So this is your preview section, and this is the timeline. And in this right side panel are the content layers for elements used in this project. For example, if I click on the contact information element, you will see these contextual buttons to edit, move, and delete the element. So let me click on the edit button, and you will see this dialog box pop up. I'll make changes to the contact information, and then click apply. As you can see, here is the updated contact information element. I can also use the resize and move button to resize and move this element like so. Similarly, you can edit these other content layers in the right side panel. You can use these elements in the left side panel if you'd like to replace or add more content to your video project. You can then check the live preview of your video project to see how your video looks like, and accordingly make any changes if you need to. 
And once you're done, you can click the Create Movie button and you will see this dialog box. Give it a name, choose the resolution and format, and click Submit. You can check the status of the rendering process in the My Videos section. And once the video has rendered, you can preview and download the MP4. Video Robot launches on March 8, 2018. And you can check the description section to learn more. Well, hope you found this video overview helpful. Look for more Video Robot tutorials on my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.